Is my data safe in the cloud? Two threats and how to protect yourself. Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com where we've been talking about things cloud-like since 2003. Yes, cloud has been around that long, although the marketing term, which we can't seem to avoid these days, is really nothing more than that. It's a marketing term. The cloud is nothing more than the servers operated by the various online services we're all using. It goes back all the way to email. So, of course, nowadays we're using many, many more cloud services. And one of the really interesting ones, one of the really powerful ones is of course, cloud storage. And by cloud storage, I really mean something like Dropbox or OneDrive or any of a number of other similar services that allow you to store your files online so that they're accessible, well, essentially anywhere you happen to be that has an internet connection. There are two different kinds of threats that I think it's worth understanding and protecting yourself from if they are threats that concern you. Those two threats are data exposure and data loss. We'll start with data exposure. What that normally means is that somebody else can see your data. That seems kind of scary. And there's a number of different ways that people usually envision it happening. What most people are concerned about, of course, is somebody in a back room at the service provider being able to poke around their data and uh, uh, look at it and see their private files and so on. In reality, that's not a very big threat. If you're using a reputable service provider like OneDrive or Dropbox or Google Drive or any of a number of others, their people aren't interested in your data. They just aren't. They're too busy keeping the service running. However, there's another scenario that many people don't think about until it's too late. And that is when your account gets hacked, if someone else has access to your account, they have access to all your files. They can see what those files are. They can examine the contents of everything you have online. Normally, when we think about an account hack, we think about things like email. So if my Gmail account gets hacked, all of a sudden people have access to my Gmail. But there's this side effect. They also have access to my Google Drive. If your Microsoft account gets hacked, they then have access to my OneDrive. You get the idea. Hacking accounts is, in a sense, both common and a bigger issue when it happens because we're using so many more connected services online. So the solution there, the way to protect yourself there, well, there's two. One, of course, don't get hacked. And that really just means make sure that you're doing all the things you already know how to do to keep your account secure. The real protection from data exposure, however, is encryption. Now, that can take any of a couple of different forms. It can be manual encryption on your part. You could use something like WinZip or 7-Zip or any of a number of other tools to manually encrypt your data before you place it in the cloud. You can also use tools like Word or Excel's own password protection. I believe that not only encrypts the data, but is much better than it used to be. I tend not to rely on app supplied encryption simply because their focus is on the app, not the encryption. I want something that's focused on encryption. I want the encryption to be the number one job. That's why personally, when I put sensitive data in the cloud, and I do put sensitive data in my cloud storage, I use Boxcryptor. Boxcryptor actually makes it all fairly transparent and allows me to interact with my files normally, but only uploads encrypted copies of those files. And it's all relatively transparent once you have Boxcryptor signed in. So that's what you do if you have sensitive data online. Of course, if you don't care, if you don't have sensitive data online, if data exposure would not be an issue for you, well, we probably don't need to do this. But to really leverage the full promise of what cloud storage can provide for you, encryption is the answer. And Boxcryptor and another tool called Cryptomator, which does essentially the same thing, are the solutions. The other risk, of course, is data loss. Data loss is something that we're very familiar with. It happens all the time. 
a file gets deleted that shouldn't be. Now, in the online scenario, in a cloud scenario, that can actually happen a couple of different ways. The account hacking scenario that I talked about earlier, that is in fact probably the most common way that this happens. Files get deleted by the hacker out of some maliciousness. Maybe they're trying to do something with respect to ransomware. I don't know, but the bottom line is that your account gets hacked and the hacker deletes the files. Even if you're using a tool like OneDrive or Dropbox or Google Drive, if they delete the files online, the synchronization process will then happen and very carefully, very methodically delete all those files from all of the machines on which you happen to have the tool installed as well. The solution for data loss is something you should already be doing. It should be very, very familiar. It's something I talk about all the time. Back up. One of the concerns that I have about people's use of cloud storage is that they think it is backup and backed up. Now, indeed, the OneDrive servers, the Dropbox servers, they're all backed up by Microsoft, by Dropbox, etc. But those backups aren't there for you. They're there to protect the service so that when they have a hard disk failure, they can replace the hard disk and not lose any of your data. If a hacker deletes all your files, it's very unlikely that the service will be able to or willing to go back into their backups to restore your files. It's your responsibility to back up your data. What most people don't think about, what most people don't realize is that when it comes to storage locations, online services like OneDrive, Dropbox, and so on, are what I consider to be one location. If it's in only one location, it's not backed up. So that means that, yes, even though the files are replicated across multiple different machines in, say, OneDrive, if it gets deleted in one, it gets deleted from all. That's one location as far as I'm concerned. It needs to be treated as if it was one location. But the solution is so incredibly simple. On one of those machines onto which you have OneDrive installed and all those files replicated, backup. Your nightly backups, your full image backups of the entire machine will have a copy of the files in your cloud storage that were replicated to your machine. That way, if the cloud storage goes away completely, you can still recover those files from the image backups you've taken of that machine. Backing up is the solution. If you're not doing image backups, if you're not doing some kind of a backup for your PC that would automatically grab your cloud storage files, do something. Make sure that the files you care about are in more places than just a single cloud storage provider. Encryption and backing up. Those are the two things that you should seriously consider doing. In fact, I'll just say you should do them if you're using cloud storage for anything important at all. It really does unlock some tremendous potential for what cloud storage can do for you. And I strongly recommend you give it a try. For the article on which this video is based, for any updates, for related links, for comments and more, visit askleo.com slash 128296. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.